a world championship vibe. Oh. You know, like it had like it had like an Olympic vibe. Like like you're you're the best if you win this one type thing. We have the newest season of the Challenge USA two here. We're talking to the host TJ. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me for popculture.com for this new season of the show. Very exciting. So what can you tease about season two? What do fans have in store for us this time around? Well, we have the Big Brother, Survivor, and the Amazing Race people on with the MTV Challenge people. So that is a huge difference from uh, Challenge USA 1 and Challenge USA 2. Because in Challenge USA 1, I was always saying, we really need to have the MTVs, the challenge people here, all the vets from there, and you can even have some former champions. So we did exactly that. We have Tori, we have John A, Wes, and Bananas, like some of the biggest, heaviest hitters, and even come back with Corey. Uh, we have like just a bunch of awesome players, and uh, we couldn't be happier. So, yeah, I, I imagine. I think, I think Corey was on this. Was Corey's on this season, right? Yeah, he is. <laughs> All of the seasons are coming together. So many seasons. <laughs> Corey is on the season. We have USA 2. You mentioned the MTV bets in the mix there. And you mentioned that you wanted them from the first season too. Like you weren't satisfied with just the Big Brother Survivor people. No, I wasn't. <laughs> because they're very nice people. They're very sweet. And they're so sweet. And they're kumbaya. And it's, it's like, okay, that was awesome. But let's get some heat in here. So like we got to bring the MTV, the challenge people in here or else it's just not the same. We have to have them. And, and so we did. And, and, and now it's a different level. I mean, it wasn't because I said that, but it was definitely, I was saying that a lot, you know, I mean, they were, they agreed with me. The, the, the decision makers of the show were agreeing with me. Yeah, we definitely need to. So it was awesome. So are they bringing the chaos? Can we expect some crazy things? I, I mean, with the cast of characters that are going to be involved in this season, I imagine that we're having some craziness. You have to. You have to, right? I mean, there's just no way. I mean, when you have when you have a Josh and Fessel who does who do who do both of those, you know, they come from both worlds. And then you have Bananas and West from this world, and you have Tyler and it, it's it's crazy. Like when you have everybody mixed up like this. And uh, it's something that I absolutely love. And then you put a hopper into the whole mix, which is the chance of getting into elimination. And that makes everything awesome. So is the hopper the kind of algorithm thing this time around that you're torturing all of my favorite contestants with? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, the algorithm is, is, you know, it's all right, whatever. But this oh, is way better. This is way better. So what, what is the hopper exactly? Can you tease anything about that? The hopper is kind of like hitting the lottery, but the wrong way. So when you hit the lottery, you're actually going in, you know? So it's like, because everybody's names are in this hopper. I hit the hopper and it just starts blowing all the names around. And then a name comes out and that's them, you know? Whatever it is, is yes. in. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see that play out. I imagine that that's going to change how they handle eliminations a little bit going forward with this season it's not so the idea dry that's the idea yeah because it's it's tough when it's just over and over again they send somebody in you know it's like man i don't like that so this was something that changed that up for, for sure okay and so what would you say the overall theme of season two is especially in comparison to season one season one we had a bunch of newness going on it was a whole new spin-off new season here so what are we going to expect from season two season two had a little bit of a world championship vibe oh you know like it had like it had like an olympic vibe like like you're, you're the best if you win this one type thing so it's like man you really really are good if, if you win this you know so i loved it and there are a lot of top tier competitors here even from like the big brother the survivors going yeah. on here. so yeah. who are the ones that we should be watching this time around um, I thought Chris was really good. I think Michelle is still real good. She's she's a beast. Tori is awesome. She kills it. Bananas, of course, he's always somebody solid. The the Fessels and the Joshes are fun to watch. They're always in there, they're mixing it up. But uh, yeah, I think any any survivor player is is really hard to beat. Like survivor players are really solid players, you know, because they they dig 
as deep as they have to to get something done. And it's just a very interesting thing that when they come from a certain show or a certain personality, a certain type of person, I, I see them as like real good. So I like I like to watch them. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we had two Survivor players win the first season, so I maybe they'll have like a little bit of a target on their backs as Survivor players this time around. Yeah. We see something like that. Um, it, it, it's definitely clicky. Let's just say that. Okay, and I did see um one of the recent videos that they put out with you having the hopper, and we are getting teams this time around, which is so exciting. I've been dying for a team season. We haven't had one of those in a long time. So yeah. how is that dynamic going to play out on the season? Well, I love teams as well. I think it's awesome. And, and it makes the game a lot less pressure. So it's more fun when it's your teams, you know, because you don't have all the pressure on yourself. You don't have to necessarily win. If you do, great. If you don't, no big deal. It's not just your fault, you know. So it's like it is your fault if it's a single game and it's an individual game. It's like, damn, or if it's just pairs. That's even worse because you let somebody down. So I like it when it's teams. Will we expect these teams to play out the whole season, or do you think we're going to see some TJ twists in there? And I mean, there's always going to be a twist, right? <laughs> okay, so maybe these teams will crash and burn, and then we'll see something else rise from the ashes. <laughs> you never know. You never know. But all I know is that the one man and one woman are walking home with the five hundred grand. So. It's got to get breaking down somehow, right? Yes, for sure. And you think we're going to get like a redo of last year's final too? Speaking of like who's going to come out the winner, like we had a very, the final, you know, Sarah and Danny ended up the winners and they made it through that Sudoku puzzle. Do you think we're going to get that kind of tier of competitors here? Or do you think they're going to be kind of, they're not going to give up no matter what kind of deal? Um, I think that, that, I, I don't think anybody's given up. I mean, it's it's definitely going to be hard, though. It's not going to be an easy final. Um, and but I don't I don't think anybody's going to give up. Okay, I hope not. I hope. It's disappointing to say, but <laughs> I know. And now they now they know that they got to train. They know that they got to do things. You know, it's different right. now. Now they're they're very well informed. Mm-hmm. And I mean. There are some competitors who have been through that experience before. We have Desi there. We have Alyssa. We don't have too, too many from this the first season there. But do you think we're going to see some redemption arcs for some of these returners? I do. I really do. Um, yeah. I think that they all have their strengths and weaknesses. But at the same time, they, they definitely could have performed better in, in certain instances. And I think that they will – Turn out to prove themselves a little even better than they they uh, anticipated. Yay, I'm excited. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited to see all this. And you know, as we're talking about the cast and stuff too, I did want to know what is your relationship like with the cast? Like, are you hanging out with them on the off? Well, probably you probably have too busy things on your mind. You're the host, stuff like that. But what is your relation like? relationship like with these contestants especially like with the mtv folks coming in i imagine it was kind of like a reunion of sorts with you and them because you've been with them for so many more seasons so what is the vibe like with the contestants and you um it's it's definitely good uh it's it's a great vibe everybody's cool everybody is is i mean we're all one big family right like everybody's been around each other for a long time i've been hosting the show for 18 years and almost 38 seasons or something so it's it's a lot of seasons that i've been hosting so um to say that we're not tight is 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 an understatement and it's not saying you know it's not the truth where we are everybody is real cool and real tight however i do not hang out with them ever um if they come to vegas i will catch a coffee or something no problem but as far as like going out on on the town or something like that i'm I'm way past that. <laughs> I'm way too old for that. And uh, so they can go out, do their thing, cut sick. But if they want to catch a bite, that's no worries. We'll do that. But uh, it it doesn't affect the game at all. You know, I, my, my sister could play this game, and it's not going to affect the game because I'm not going to favor somebody. It, like, it's very, very important that the game stays true and stays not at all produced and not fake, you know what I mean? We have to make sure that it stays true and real. 
and that's the most important thing to all of us. From Justin Booth, Emer Harkin, Ryan Smith, every everybody, Kevin Lee, everybody is trying to sky topic. Everybody's in tr- in in trouble if they have any kind of produced game situation. You know what I mean? To where it's like that didn't happen or whatever. That that has never happened on our show. We always sometimes, of course, we replay the walk in or replay the exit or whatever, but we never replay the game, you know, like to where the result is different or something like crazy like that. So it's very important that, that the authenticity is, is in the game. Yeah. And I'm glad you said that too, because I feel like every so often, I don't know if you're on social media at all, um, looking at what people say about the episodes, but sometimes, you know, people have their conspiracy theories or maybe anything like that. So I'm glad that you did address that. Yeah. I mean, they, they could, they can come, and, and conspiracy theory all they want, but I would go against anybody in the world that said this was wrong or that was wrong or this was right or wrong, whatever. Like anybody, a hundred percent, I would say there's no possible way. If there's a mistake, then that's different. Like, of course there's mistakes that happen in the world. Like everyone is human. And if, if a game producer did some math or something a little bit different or wrong or misspelled something or what well, I don't have no idea but if if I, there I can't even think of anything that's happened like that but they would be reprimanded for sure by you know the higher ups or whoever and then also made to fix it you know like dude you you got to fix this and and figure it out and or we would make it to where it was fair somehow some way keep the time restart everybody else at the exact time you know what i mean like if, if somebody got there, say, say there's like a, uh, a, something that was wrong or whatever that we would, we would have kept time that they got to that station or wherever, and then held everybody else for that long. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that it was even, that was, it, it all worked out right to where it's like, it's fair because yeah. that's the most important thing to the challenge is our reputation and, and that it's fair. So that, that's why we, we, we keep it very serious when it comes to that. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the reasons why the show has been on the air for as long as it is. We're heading into almost season 40 for the flagship series. We have a million different spinoffs. There will probably be three more by the end of this interview that are in the works. But we have season 40 coming up here. So as we're winding down, I wanted to ask you some questions about the future of this game. And I'm not sure if you've seen people, I'm always on like Reddit and stuff like that. And people always have their like fantasy cast and their dream themes, especially for like upcoming season 40, people have already been talking about what they can expect there. So do you have your own kind of fantasy cast, fantasy theme that you'd love to see, especially for a landmark season, like season 40? Um, Yeah. I mean, I would love to see all of the originals and all the people that we always have. Um, I would love to see a couple of sprinkled in CBS players for sure. I like, I love uh, some of the players that we got from there, like Chris and Alyssa and, and Tyler. And, you know, I, li- I like those players a lot. I think they're really good. Um, I think that if we sprinkled in some all-stars, maybe like the Mark Longs and, and people like this, it wouldn't hurt. Um, you know, John A is, is somebody that's really starting to shine. You know, she's won all stars a couple times right away, right away, and then came in here and made waves. And and she's she's also a very good player. I like to see her doing go in there. And but um and then on top of all that, put some action sports guys in there. I would love to see some BMX dudes. Um, we have we have women and men in BMX now, so it, Olympic athletes. You know, so it'd be really cool to have few of those in there as well we have some crazy personalities in action sports that that could work any specific names that you'd love to see on the show um you know there's there's so many guys but like one of the guys that would be amazing is Corey Nastasio he's like he, he's an older BMX rider but he's one of the funniest most charismatic people you'd ever see on one of these shows he would be amazing or anyone like that so like like we have a. Uh, some of the Australian BMX guys that, that are real, real good. And, and uh, I think if we had some of those as well. Um, that would be great. Jay Tui is, comes to my mind right, right away. Jay Tui would be an amazing addition to the challenge. I think he would be fun to watch. 
Um, our Willie, Ryan Williams, he, he's uh, another real good BMX rider that, that would be uh, fun to watch. So, and he'd be interesting and creating ways and doing really well. He's good at everything, you know? So when you see somebody with so much talent on a bike and, and a scooter as well, then it makes it like he's got crazy balance and, and air awareness, which is important in the challenge. So it'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that'd be super out of the realm of possibility, too. We've had Olympians before, so yeah, I think that'd be really sick. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. Yeah, and I will be looking forward to, I watch every single iteration of this show, so I'm just so much looking forward to USA 2, maybe any all-stars or any next seasons of the flagship that we have going on in the mix. I'm just so excited for it all, and I'm so thankful that you took the time to chat with me about the challenge. 